friends, this is Ella, and I'm here with Balance TV today to show you guys some really easy breakfast recipes. So today I'm gonna to show you two recipes which work really well in conjunction, but you can also do totally separately. And again, they're just kind of breakfast hacks of easy way you can do things that maybe seem more complicated than they really are. And the first is almond milk. And all you have to do is soak almonds. So you just cake blanch almonds like this, and you just soak them for like overnight or kind of five, six, seven hours. And then once you've got that, you literally, it's, it's so simple. You just pour them into a blender. Um, and then you put in two to three times the amount of water to that. And we're literally just gonna put it in here. My lid doesn't stay on that well, so hopefully it won't fly off. And turn it on and blend that up. And then, the next step is you just get this and then you pour it through a muslin bag slowly through the jug but then you just get all your sides together and you just see it's nice and frothy gently squeeze the milk out as you can see we've now got this really nice thick almond milk and you can use this for everything smoothies um porridge uh granola bircher muesli whatever it is you like so today we're going to use it to make a chia pudding um which i love and what i've been doing recently is i've been doing a mix of chia for a chia pudding and then our bircher muesli which so you have some oats in it as well or you if you don't have don't live in the UK or anything, the birch mousse you can use um, just plain porridge oats. So all you need to do to do this is you just take sort of two teaspoons of chia seeds and then you're just going to add probably about a quarter of a cup of almond milk just so that they're covered like this. And then into that, I like to add a tablespoon of yogurt as well because it just makes it extra thick. So once it's sat for about five minutes or so, you'll notice that the chia seeds have really, really grown. Um, but you want it to still have a little bit of liquid left. And that's when you're going to add um, our bunch of muesli or otherwise some porridge oats. So you just want to add a tablespoon or two of, the, of this. got dried apple and raspberry and sunflower seeds um, and raisins in it so it's absolutely delicious and the oats are milled really finely which is why you then want to use porridge oats if you're not using this which means they again they um, go soft really really quickly within a minute or two and immediately it becomes creamy so there we go that's really nice and thick now and ready to eat and if you want to kind of spice it up a little bit then there's loads and loads of stuff you can add to it to make it more interesting. So I'm gonna add some of our um, compote that we made together and which has been sitting in the fridge. And it's just a simple fruit compote you can watch in our other video. And then a little bit of granola um, just to get a nice crunch. And there we go, again, just a really easy, quick breakfast that you can throw together. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope it was helpful. Make sure to check out my other video and subscribe to the channel to get loads of amazing videos.